This week on the show, we have an international heavyweight title match. Ding, ding, ding. Three contenders. Weighing in at a combined weight of 58 stone, the reckless and relentless brawlers, not the stepdads, but the dads who stepped up and scratched the vultures of the ring, the northern cowboy kings of Yorkshire themselves, asking Alexandria in their new song, Dark Void. If you're scratching the surface, try to find a purpose. I wonder what the devil will find. Ah, the crowd goes wild. Versus. Weighing in at a combined 310 kilograms, the Vegemite Lords of Woe, Flippers of the Doom Switch, the Attendants of Your Funeral, and the Old Souls of Perth themselves make them suffer. And their new song, Ghost of Me. Versus weighing in at a combined 364 kilograms, the purest strain of heavyweight, waging a pound for pound holy war on every human target in existence. The puppet masters of the ring reigning from darkness. Thy art is murder. With their new song, Join Me in Armageddon. My Marcos. In a triangular ring crafted specifically for this segment, three bands, three new singles, all international heavyweight title match holder champion winners of, of the highest years? caliber. <laughs> so we listen to all three of these songs, right? We actually reacted to them too. If you want to uh, go over and check out those yeah. videos on our YouTube channel, um, and 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 ultimately, uh, seeing as how these are three like defining bands in in the heavy music scene, I, I thought, you know, we pit them all against each other and and see Why not? who who the victor is, Marcos. I'd like to eliminate one contender immediately. Asking Alexandria, you fake fox. You lying fake fox. Because all they did, all, they di all they've done for one whole week is build this song up like a like like a legitimate return to their roots right and like we knew better but like also part of us wants to like ignore the part of you that knows better mm -hmm. and just pretend that asking alexandria are really fucking pissed off in 2023 and they're done making classic rock and they might actually like have a little a little bite to their bark once again or vice versa and it turns out they have zero and what they've done is compile one of like the messiest songs i've ever heard it's just like such a glued together compilation of ideas they had that like really kills any potential flow this song could have by constantly pivoting from one end to another and never like really focusing in on any one idea long enough to like enjoy it just a baffling release like Man, I've always stood by. I I really don't need a band to be heavy. Just fucking do something good or or, or interesting. And like asking Alexandria are just like in this weird floundering era of their career where I I I I I, I think in in my mind we are trying to just come up with the three ideas that we think will hit hardest on the top ten songs of whatever radio station picks us up but they are making for like some of the 
poorest tracks in this band's entire catalog. And man, we are down bad. Like after that last record and now this fucking song and the record before that, we are down so bad. And it's so frustrating because we were fine with the release of that self-titled record that I actually thought was very good. And since then, it has been a wasteland of just absolute, call it what it is, octane core of the simplest form. And then when they try to take that octane core and mix up the formula a little bit, it, it, it somehow came out worse. Like I just, I really don't know what the creative process is with this band right now. I don't even, don't even look at me. I don't even want to add anything. I just want to continue to watch you filibuster over the demise. Ask Alexandria came in and swing super hard and managed to punch themselves in the face and knock themselves out. Like that's, that's their entrance into the ring out in 10 seconds. So to recap, uh, ask Alexandria, of course, eliminated because they were in the wrong class. They're actually lightweights. Let's move on to the actual heavyweights. Now, now let's talk about something that, that isn't actually disappointing. And, and we're going to talk about the entirety of the heavy metal scene right now in Australia, which has been, fucking unstoppable recently just banger after banger after fucking banger and like thy art is murder and make them suffer like they are they are aware of like the stakes so both of them have come out they've dropped absolute fucking heaters and 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 they've delivered them alongside like really brilliant like visually like appealing music videos In as both well corners mm-hmm. heaters heaters he the fucking Australian desert heat Armageddon in one corner, the ghost in another. Now, f- for me personally, mm-hmm. it's make them suffer. It's make them suffer. It's easy, make them. Actually. It's make them. It's make them suffer in like three. You know what I mean? Like there, there's rounds. a moment there where Thy Art is Murder come back, and it's like respect, respect. The yeah. fucking the bondage apparel. The bondage apparel, the weird end of world like Armageddon um, aesthetic that ties in directly with the track, gorgeous and like the 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 clean structure that brings us to a breakdown that pays off like everything that comes before, like like thy art is murder kind of come in and they like deliver like a like an easy victory for themselves, yeah. you know what I mean? Like the, they come the in and they run, like, the, they play the fundamentals, yeah. Um, but make them suffer is just like on this completely other fucking different wavelength. Like I, 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 I just, man, in all the years I've been following this scene and in all the ways I've spoken to how watchable the synth or, or keys member of a band is all of a sudden make them suffer, drop in like a keytar in the in the shape of like cloud strife sword for no apparent reason and 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 suddenly like they're revolutionizing small aspects of 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 artists that like i i didn't think we would ever like move forward on like i th- i thought we had already like peaked and called it and like make them suffer like reinventing the wheel somehow and they're doing it all like while still kind of like maintaining the exact sound that they've always had I think they have to they're they're reinventing themselves at this point make them suffer forced to rise from the ashes on multiple occasions mightier than ever like this phoenix and hopefully this one doesn't burn out anytime soon because this era of make them suffer was the one that shouldn't have worked just just because of all of the circumstances and the uncertainty and as a result this band is better than ever. And these fucking... two songs are, are like, that's, that's the proof. Right. Right Do- Doom switch was like a knockout round one victory. Like it was like, like completely Unbelievably good. Uh, like uh, no challenger could stand up to the weight of that track. And like, am I taking this new one over that one? Truthfully? No, but not like, quite. not, not quite, but it's but, like right on its like heels. You yeah, know what I mean? It's, it's not some massive drop off. It's another quality song. It's a damn good one. This band is firing on all cylinders. We've implemented the new member really well. Continue to, at this point are only two tracks so far that we've heard with this, this lineup, this band. Mm. 
and you're right like oh, suddenly still introducing new elements to their sound um still writing better music than we've done in the past it's really impressive what they're pulling off and like that art is murders is a really talented band they're they're still great but like are Thy Heart is Murder reinventing themselves time and time again? Not really. They've almost passed that stage of their career in a sense, I yeah. think. But Make Them Suffer is like they've fallen into like this perfect groove. And, and it's really like it's been brilliant to witness. And then like alternatively over there in the corner, completely fucking passed out, is asking Alexandria, who what the <laughs> fuck is even going on? Right. Like, I don't even know. Like, yeah, like, fine. Don't 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 be what people are asking you, but be something interesting Yeah, for fuck's sake. There's a handful of interesting ideas on that song. Commit to one of them. Commit to one of them is the problem. Yeah. It's so much happening for so little reason. Like asking Alexandria, they're like trying to tell you something when in reality, any of those things that they're trying to convey, all of them are falling flat. None of them make any sense. It's just not, I don't know, that song is not a good product. How washed does the style of that music video already feel? Like, I, the burnout I felt on this little, like, AI touch-uppery we've been doing in our music videos is, the, the make is, has come video. fast and heavy. And then by comparison, these other videos are incredible. Yeah, the Make Them Suffer videos, it's not even that big of a departure from what Asking Alexandria did, but all of the creative choices that they make make for such a more watchable video, which lends itself to a better experience listening to the song, especially for the first time. Um, the, the song nor the video make for a great listening experience the first time around with Asking Alexandria. I don't know. I might hear that song 10 times again and warm up to it, but right now really cold on it i've only heard had to hear make them suffer a couple of times to know that it's a fucking brilliant track same with i Art's murder um those two in a league of their own in comparison to the uh the once mighty ask alexandria who i still think have it in them somewhere lost in the void i pray because my adoration of that band for the the albums that they've given me that i truly adore is so immense that the the absolutely polar opposite effect that the majority of their most recent material has had on me is incredibly frustrating. So let's make them suffer. And and do you want to know who the winner is? Us, baby. New make them suffer. New the iron is murder. Asking Alexander is still a band. Let's fucking go. 